So we're in Lima, Peru, and this is where we're staying. There's Chung Hoi up on the balcony. Waiting, we're waiting for a taxi to go to a walking tour of the city. So I'm down here waiting to spot the plate number. Uber is here. It's seven soles for a 10 minute ride. But two dollars, so. We're at the meeting spot for our walking tour here in Lima. Not a bad looking place, huh? I haven't been here since 2010. I had a, some friends that were teaching here and working for the World Bank and visited them at that time. I'd, I'd met them in India. And now I'm back in Lima, Peru. 35, okay? And the name of the beginning was in Lima. The name of the beginning was City of Kings. And it was because it was founded on January 18th and on January 6th, we celebrate the King Magicians or the Magic Kings. Or in Spanish, Los Reyes Magos. And it's called La Iglesia La Ermita, okay? But it was destroyed earthquake that we had here in 1940 and it was 8.2 degrees in the Richter scale. del ensueño que evoca la memoria del viejo puente del río y la Alameda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything was destroyed, or almost everything was destroyed for the world of the Pacific between Peru, Chile, and Bolivia. Okay, Peru and Bolivia were fighting together against Chile. Okay, but the real name of the war wasn't the war of the Pacific, the name of the war was the war of the salt and the bird ship. Okay, war of the salt and the bird ship. At that time, the war started in 1879. At that time, people discovered that the bird ship could be used as fertilizer and it cost it a lot of money. Miraflores, that's the Pacific Ocean. Not a bad park. And from that park, it's really only another maybe 300, 400 meters to the this famous shopping center, which, <laughs> forgive me, I can't remember the name of, but it's a famous shopping center on the water in Miraflores. So you'll read online that Barranco uh, 
is bohemian and mirror floors is kind of upscale. In uh, Barranco, this, this, these houses are everywhere. In mirror floors, it's all high rises like this. They've, the character's all been replaced with modern convenience. La Comar Mall or Plaza is what this place is called. That's the, Mar that's the Marriott right there. And I haven't been here in nine years, but this part of Lima, uh, which is called Miraflores, looks just like it did then. Chung is getting her first look. And it's, it's an upscale mall here. And uh, lots of chain restaurants and as you would expect. This is Miraflores. It's where a lot of the expats live. It doesn't, in my opinion, it's not as fun as uh, Barranca because it's, um, it feels like I'm living in the U.S., like Laguna Beach or uh, La Jolla in California. Trouble for listening to music? Yeah, the Mr. Law, but we pay 1.5 ring in Malaysia. People expensive about the you know, English music. So that's how I spend the money on listening to that music. This is uh, Plaza de Armas. It's the central plaza of the city. Right in front of you now is uh, the Cathedral of Lima. And next to that is um, the Archbishop's uh, Palace. Um, this uh, square we're standing in, uh, by the way, that's the uh, government uh, palace there, or President's Palace. And uh, the, on the left there in the yellow is the Union Club. The square we're standing in was founded in uh, 1543 uh, by Francisco uh, Pizarro and um, it was pretty much just for bullfighting and burning uh, people on this, at a stake during the Spanish Inquisition here. Uh, but later this fountain was put in the middle in about 1651. So this, uh, as I said, is the uh, Cathedral of Lima. Uh, it was uh, first erected in 1535. Um, a smaller version of it. It was uh, damaged quite severely in the, in the late 1600s uh, from an earthquake. We're an earthquake country here and it was uh, rebuilt about a decade later. So this is the Archbishop's Palace um, for the um, Cardinal for the Roman Catholic Church. And um, the current version of this was completed in 1924. Um, th those balconies you can see, they have a more, they're Moorish influenced. Of course, this being a um, previously a colony of Spain, there's a lot of Moorish influences here. 
So this is the, you know, next to the Archbishop's Palace, this is the government palace here. It was built in 1535 um, by Francisco Pizarro, one of the conquistadors. And um, it um, was the uh, home for the Viceroy under Spanish rule, and now it's the home for the President also. It's a beautiful plaza here, Lima, Peru, Plaza de Armas. Hard to believe there's 12 million people here, but there isn't as much smog in the sky as I'm used to seeing in a city this size. Must be because we're on the Pacific Ocean. This is just a really cool street, just two blocks from the Plaza de Armas. These buildings, this street here is famous because of the balconies and uh, obviously very wealthy homes here. I just thought you'd like to see it. These balconies are all protected um, by the city and various businesses adopt them and maintain these balconies. These are more of that Moorish influence that uh, we saw at the Archbishop's Palace. So this is San Francisco Church and Convent, uh, built in 1674. Um, they worship uh, St. Jude here, in addition to Christ. Um, this um, church is known for having around 20,000 souls buried in a catacombs below it, uh, which is, was the burial place for the Catholics in the city before they built the cemetery. So this is called Wall Park. As you can see, there's an old wall there they've dug up uh, just to show you. This wall was built in 1687, um, not to protect the Spanish from the indigenous people, but to, um, to protect them from pirates who um, were stealing the gold that the Spanish were stealing from the indigenous people. And that's Francisco Pizarro, Pizarro over there, the founder of the city on the horse. The, uh, cr the criminal in chief. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> so what do you think of Peruvian sausage? Good? Oh, sauce. <laughs> These are your specialty of Lima, the street food. I'm not usually big on sweets, but. <laughs> this is a star that you buy. Oh, yeah. good. It's good. That's what they're called, the Corona. Good. They're like a donut and French toast mixed or something. Oh, there's the sweetness, right? That's syrup, like maple syrup. This is Mercado Central in Lima. It's a, it's a central market, typical Lima or Peru, actually South America. They have these markets with the individual stalls. People, sellers specializing. And often they're in areas. This just looks like a spice area, so there should be a bunch of spice. Nuts, spice. More, more nuts and spice. Pretty good prices here if you know how to bargain. So here we are in Chinatown. Lima, Peru. So you're eating again. 
<laughs> I caught you eating again. Don't tell anyone. This uh, amoli. Ah, okay, I'll show you the amoli. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, done with our city tour. Now we're just walking around and checking it out. This is a cool little spot here. I thought I'd show it to you. There's Chung Hoi over there getting her shot. I love how this is a walking street. There's no cars allowed on this street. That to me defines a good city. Just really enjoying this city. It's just a beautiful place. I, I just don't remember. This is a different Peru than I was at it last time. I haven't been here in about nine years. And it just seems to really have... They've invested in maintaining these places. And it really makes a difference. This is San Martin Plaza. This was inaugurated in 1921 on the 100th anniversary of Peru's independence. And there's some beautiful buildings around this park. They're actually all of about the same era. And I don't know who's in the middle of there. I would suspect San Martin since that's the name of the plaza. This concludes our walking tour of Lima, Peru. One of these buildings is the um, Grand Boulevard uh, Hotel and it, they're supposed to make one of the best pico sours in, in all of Peru. So I don't know which one but keep that in mind if you feel like a drink after the walk. So this is Parque Central in Miraflores, Peru, uh, just outside the Lima area. And behind me there are people trading uh, uh, football or soccer cards. And um, the, over here you have artists painting and selling their uh, painting. And so it's families here. It's a nice, nice little park. Lima is behind me, specifically this is Miraflores, part of Lima. And Chung Ho is down there walking in front, down by the waterfront, where I can shoot some pictures of her. 